Hi, my name is Mike Zentner, and I have several positions where I have to deal with business models in addition to having been an entrepreneur in residence and an accelerator previously. And one of the first things that people ask about is, what should my business model be? You can see tons of questions that people ask, and this is just a fraction of what typically is asked. And what I'd say is that this is premature, and let's call a time out to that discussion. If you've been in society the last 10 years, you already know all of these business models, and you've participated in most of them. In fact, I'm not going to talk about any of those things. And before you get mad at me for that, it's in the wrong sequence. We're not really thinking about this right. There's some precursors to that that are necessary for any business model. The first of these is build something that someone wants. But let's qualify that someone a little bit more. It's not just someone, it's someone other than you. And in fact, it's even better if it's someone other than anybody who's been funded on the effort. And let's go one step further and say they want it because they can derive value from it. And not only that they can derive value from it, but because they can easily explain what that value is. Let's be a little more careful about the term someone, though. Someone does not mean everyone. A lot of efforts that try to make themselves usable for everyone make themselves usable for no one, and that's not constructive in supplying value. So with that said, it's natural you would ask, so what is my business model? What should my business model be? Well, before we get there, there's a few more prerequisites. The first is, of course, the consumers of what you develop need to enjoy the value that's being provided, like this girl in the sprinkler. However, you also have to realize that that enjoyment of value might need to be translated to the person who pays the bills, like perhaps the parent who's paying the water bill. What that tells you is your business model may need to line up with somebody other than the user. For the payer, it needs to have a predictable cost. It needs to align with how they're used to paying for things. And most importantly, it needs to align with the way they receive funding. So just like I don't want to pay a water bill every two days because I get paid at the end of the month, the same thing is true about who the payer is for the thing that you're trying to sell. Once we have those questions answered, all of these questions about what the business model should be stops being the mystery that it is and actually becomes quite easy to solve. Then you're set up for the real challenge, which isn't deciding what the business model is. It's how do you sell it? How do you take it to market and convince people to pay for the value you know they're going to receive? And with that, I'll close this tour of business models and welcome any discussion that happens during the group discussion. Thank you.